Hello everyone! Did you enjoy the story yesterday about Jack and the Beanstalk? I like that story. Now, what was it that Jack swapped or exchanged his cow for? Can you remember? Magic beans, that's right. So if you've got some different coloured Play-Doh, you could make some magic beans, couldn't you? And then you could use those, you could count them, you could sort them into colours. I'll tell you one of the things I really like to use for um, magic beans is jelly babies or jelly beans. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get any of those at the shop, so I haven't got any to share with you, to show you some of the activities that you could do with your jelly beans. But you could sort them into colours, you could count them. You could sort them into colours and count each colour so that you've got groups and then you could put two groups together. So if I've got say three yellow jelly beans or magic beans and I had got two white magic beans and I put that number three and that number two together, how many would I have all together? Three, four, Five! I would have five magic beans. So those are some activities that you could have a go at. And on the plan, there are some activities. Now, they are on sheets. You don't have to do the sheets if you don't want to. But they might give you some ideas of what you could do with your own magic beans. You know, who says magic beans have to look like magic beans? You could use raisins. You, if you've got Cheerios, you could use Cheerios or hula hoops. You could create your own magic beans. Can you remember what the magic beans grew into? That's right, a beanstalk. Now I've got some green Play-Doh and I'm going to take my Play-Doh and I'm going to roll it in my hands first. Remember how we put the, the in the palm of our hand and use the other palm of our hand and each palm goes round and round and round and that's how I make a ball shape, a sphere. Then I'm going to take that sphere, that ball shape and I'm going to use my Peter pointer finger and the palm of my hand and I'm gently going to roll. Now I'm going to use two fingers because it's getting longer and I'm going to roll it and roll it and roll it and that is my first beanstalk. Now, it doesn't quite look like a beanstalk, does it? So I'm going to make some little leaves. Again, I'm going to take a little bit. And I'm only going to use my finger to roll it round the palm of my hand this time because I've only got a little piece. Look, almost looks like a pea. And then I'm going to squash it in my fingers. And that's going to be my leaf. So I've stuck a leaf onto my beanstalk. I think it needs another one. So I'm going to take another little bit and roll it and roll it and squash it. Oh, squash it in my fingers. And I'm going to stick that onto my beanstalk. Now, is this a very big beanstalk? Is it? Oh, I've lost a leaf. Is it a tall beanstalk or a short beanstalk, do you think? Yeah, it's a bit short, isn't it? So I'm going to see if I can make a longer one this time. So I'm going to take my Play-Doh and I'm going to roll it and roll it. And then I'm going to take my fingers and I'm going to move it forwards and backwards, forwards and backwards so that I get a nice, ooh, what shape will I have this time? That's right, be a nice sausage shape. Now let's hold it up together. Have I got a long one and a short one? Yes, this one's longer than this one, isn't it? So now I need to add some, some leaves. So I'll get a small bit of Play-Doh, use my fingers to roll it around, give it a good squeeze, and stick it on. So I've got one leaf. Can you see that? Or one leaf on there. Put another one. 
Roll it and roll it and roll it and roll it and squeeze. Sit, flatten it out. Give it a pinch. Give it a squeeze. Roll it. Squeeze it. Pinch it. Push it. And now I've got two bean stalks. Oh, something else I've noticed. How many leaves are on that bean stalk? One, two. How many leaves are on that bean stalk? One, two, three. How many leaves have I got all together? Three, four, five. I've got five all together. Now, I'm going to leave it there, but you could use your Play-Doh and see if you could make lots of different sized bean stalks and they could all have different leaves on them. So then you can be counting your leaves and looking to see, maybe put your bean stalks in order of size. So start with the shortest, the smallest, and then what's, which one comes next and put them so that you have the tallest one at the very end. Can you do that for me? I'm looking forward to seeing that. That would be great. And there are some other maths activities there for you to have a go at as well. So just see what you can do, but don't forget to put it on Evidence Me so I can see what you've had a go at too. All right, take care. See you tomorrow. Bye.